Hey, what's up? It's Tammy from T2 Volleyball. <laughs> this year, we're gonna be doing a vlog series for beach volleyball. It's uh, not quite beach volleyball time. In a lot of places, it is actually, you know, so in California. I can't imagine that uh, they're not like full on right now because I know the AVP tour is starting up in some other cities in, around the US. Um, here is cold. Oh my gosh, in the Okanagan this year, it's a cold season. It actually snapped last night. It's last night. Are you kidding me? It, it is March 9th. I, Kate, when I was going to school, I was playing beach volleyball February 28th. I remember that being the earliest time that I was actually out there training, not just like running around on the sand, but like full on training with the balls, hitting, getting ready for my season, okay? I don't play that many events anymore. So I'm not gonna be training February 28th. But you kids out there, this snow is killing us. It's killing us. We cannot have it anymore. Please go away. Stop. Go away. All right, so we're gonna talk about how to get ready for the beach, okay? So first thing off, you gotta have a good nutritional plan. So we're gonna talk about that. We're not gonna get there completely today, but I started on Isogenics two or three years ago. I know it's a network marketing company. I get it, people don't like network marketing company. Or they love it, because they make a lot of money off of it. I don't really care, I just like it. I like the taste, it's not as chalky as other protein powders. I'm busy, okay? Nobody has time nowadays to make food. Look at Plated and all these other companies. You can go to Good Food. I like Good Food, I use Good Food. You can go check that out. But honestly, nobody, nobody has time to make food. So just buy yourself something that you're gonna actually eat and eat, okay? So people also really love organics, totally. Getting, I am totally getting into the fermentation aspects of it all, okay? So I spend time with my kombucha. We're gonna talk about kombucha because kombucha is amazing, okay? If you're having problems, okay? We're all having problems. We all the fake food and we all the processed crap we've been eating, it's coming back to haunt us. We call that the volleyball book of curses, which we're Okay, but it's the same thing. The life curses. You eat, you're gonna get. Okay, so we can't be. We gotta stop with the. So kombucha, kefir, oh, fermentation, so good for you. Yes, that might include beer for some of you guys. But I don't drink beer. I drink kombucha like it's going out of style. I make it and I drink it every single day. So we're gonna talk about that. But that's a preparation. We we gotta prepare our bodies to get ready. Part of that preparation is fitness. You guys, seriously, you keep telling me that you're working out, you're not working out. We all know it. So let's actually start working out. Does that make sense? And let's start working out properly. Okay, so in this vlog, I'm gonna talk about a jump training and you gotta start it now. If you wanna start jumping and you wanna be at your highest jump peak for the volleyball, beach volleyball season, okay, which is coming up. If you know what's good. I just launched it. Can check the link below join the training if you're in Kelowna it's literally the best training that you can get in Kelowna I don't want to be cocky or anything but I'm the only professional that went down to California and has spent the money that I've spent to get the training that I've gotten to get to that same level. There's a couple other players in town. They're doing a great job too. I can't teach everybody, so it's really great that they're doing it. But honestly, get into the, one of these programs if you're a youth volleyball athlete. We're going to start some adult stuff too, so it's not there, but just check back, email me. We got our adult women group and men's group, co-ed group kind of forming so you can get into that as you want if you want to. Anyways, we're gonna talk about fitness and we're gonna start with a jump program. Okay, you gotta start with something. You know, like I gotta look 
I don't want to starve. You know, I don't want to go to boot camp because I got to get in shape first. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's what boot camp's for, all right? You don't want to go join a professional event unless you've been training. Okay, that makes sense. But a boot camp in Kelowna with one of these random people, like, you, that's why they're here. That's why they're training, is to get your in shape. Make sense? All right, so this is a no <laughs> blog. I'm gonna talk about lots of stuff. If you don't want your kids to watch this because I talk a little bit crazy and whatever, I don't really care, okay? This is an honest blog about how to get better at beach volleyball, but also just my experiences, all right? I'm going to the Seattle AVP this year. So I'm competing as a Canadian in the AVP. What up? You know, you don't get to do this. Okay, just so you know, Canadians don't get to compete in the AVP. I know. I think it's because they're scared of us, to be honest. But, you know, it's just not, it's not possible. But if you play with an American partner, it is possible. So last year, I hooked up with a girl named Jamie Walsh. <laughs> We're down. We're in. We're going to be playing in the Seattle AVP. We might even play in another one. I'm going to be going down to Hermosa AVP with all my kids. It's going to be rad. Like, you got to get in on the California trip, too. If you haven't got in on it, if you, know what's good, what's good, what's good. you got to send me an email. Get in. You don't have to be from Kelowna. You could be from anywhere and just meet us down there. Okay, so just let me know if you want to come. You want to get your kids involved with what I'm doing. This is for life, okay? We don't play volleyball as a kid and then that's it. My kids play volleyball and they take what they learn from the sport and from our training for their daily life. All right, so jump training 101 coming at you, bam. First thing you gotta have is good shoes, okay? I don't go or I don't do any sports unless I'm wearing a good pair of shoes. So it's amazing because a lot of kids come to my training and they're wearing like hiking shoes or some weird shoes that are just not good for you, you know? Like, you need to have support of your knees and back. Now, knees and back are gonna keep you in this game, okay? Shoulders too, you gotta make sure that you're taking care of the, of the parts of the body that you're gonna be hitting the volleyball with a lot, right? So a good pair of shoes, they should cost more than $80. <laughs> We're going to start with some new jump training that I've been doing recently and I think it's going to really help increase vertical when I get to the beach, okay? So the first thing that's really important is that you're kind of balanced, your core is strong, and when you come into it, you're using a thrusting. So you're going to come down and boom, you're going to thrust up into and onto your feet, okay? So we're going to, they're called knee jumps. So we're going to start here and we're going to thrust up. Now I just want to warm up because I haven't, um, I, I basically woke up, had breakfast, I've been up working a little bit, but my body's not ready for intense movements and this is an explosive movement. When we get up onto our feet, boom, it's going to pop up and your feet are going to climb to the ground. That can be really hard on the joints if you haven't warmed up. Now if you've just practiced and you're coming off of a practice, this is a great time to work out because you're going to be warm and your joints are ready for this sort of movement. Okay, so I'm going to start with a warm-up. I'm just going to come down and I'm just going to thrust. Okay. <laughs> then I'm going to just come onto my feet into the low, low squat position so my knees are in line with my toes. If I can put my arms straight down, that's good. If, I, if they're angled to the floor, so my shoulders are angled to the floor, my knees are too far in front, so I gotta push my heels back, okay? So I'm getting into this position, I'm just gonna come up. Okay, low position in the squat, butt down, but back and down, so not under, but back and down, and then up. Okay, I'm just gonna do like five of these for my warm up. Okay, once I feel warm in my legs, okay, you'll feel burning almost right away. Okay, and make sure when we're coming up, we're flexing in the glutes. So when I come up, I'm like, boom, see whether this is not flex, this is flex. You can see the difference, right? And I watch athletes all the time, they're not flexing anything. And they, you know, check the glove, like flex, boom. You can see, I'm flexing, boom, pass the volleyball. It's a lot better. Okay, so I'm gonna do two more here. Don't
do it slowly just do what you can at first and make sure that you're taking your time if something hurts stop don't do it sharp pains are bad but if something's pushing you push through okay the biggest thing about athletics is being mentally strong so if there's anything that you get from this vlog is to push yourself to be better always okay and 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 to just have fun in your sport and then you know the biggest thing is just building mental strength you cannot play sports at a high level if you don't build your strength in your mind and your mind doesn't tell you that you can do anything. Mm -hmm. 